This is RTX 3090 from HP. It's been serving for mining for almost a year and we are about to see if mining cards are worth to buy for cheap price. In this video, I am going to tear it down, clean it up, replace thermal paste, put it back in the system and compare the thermals. Let's start by removing all the screws found on the back plate. There are total of 6 tension screws and other normal screws. Pull the back plate gently and you can see how dirty it is. The thermal pads are also not in a very good condition but I am not going to remove any thermal pads from this graphic card. Pull the main circuit board carefully. There will be two fan connectors you need to be careful while pulling them out not to damage your GPU. Now you have your heatsink and fan shroud isolated. This is what a dirty heatsink looks like. There will be three screws on each fan, just remove all of them so that you can remove the fans to clean them easily. Let's have a final quick look on the dirty fan shroud, copper heat sink and the metal back plate. I am cleaning the main circuit by only dry brush because it was already in a neat condition containing only minor dirt residues. I am back after washing the non-electrical components of the GPU with soap and pressure wash and blow dry. You can clean the main GPU chip by using only alcohol and microfiber cloth. Carefully apply the thermal paste, not too much, not too less. Here I am using the line technique again. It's time to put everything back in order. Just make sure you did not forget or skip any step that you did during the tearing down of your GPU. Let's have a quick look of the GPU before and after the cleaning. You can see all this dirt has been removed and GPU looks like brand new or near to the brand new graphic card and it's ready to be tested now. I use Furmark for comparison with the same setting before and after the cleaning of GPU. And if you look closely, the temps you will observe that we only lose 2 degrees centigrade after this much effort. But hold on a sec, check the frames per second, clock speed and fan RPM. This is definitely a huge improvement. And I don't see any problem with the noise or any crashing of the GPU. So in my opinion, this is definitely worth the purchase of mining graphic card with dirt cheap price.